Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, and I'm reading Ora Machka, The Time Cat, and we're now at chapter 20. A few mice spotted him, and then a few more, and then it wasn't long before most of the mice saw him and started to slow down their dancing. Some of them stood rooted to the floor with shock. They stopped kissing their girlfriends and boyfriends, and even stopped drinking their alcohol. King Mouse wondered why the mice had stopped enjoying themselves. Then he spotted Aura. Unfazed by the big cat, King Mouse looked at all of the mice and said in his big voice, Keep dancing, you lot. I will sort this out. Come on, keep dancing. The mice were scared of the huge cat, but they didn't really want to dance. They just wanted to run away, but they were also scared of King Mouse. They looked from one to the other and realised the best thing to do would be to try and dance and pretend to enjoy themselves. King Mouse looked across at Aura and started clicking his fingers and flexing his huge muscles and started to chant. Keep dancing, don't dare stop. I'm King Mouse, the guy at the top. No big cat is going to stop our fun because, my friends, it's only just begun. Don't you worry about that big cat. I'll deal with him with a great big splat. He's only just an old lady's pet. When I finish with him, he'll need a good vet. All the mice cheered and laughed. King Mouse did a bow and fixed his stare on Aura and then without warning, launched himself towards him with a flying kick. Aura was glad of his cat food training from Mr. Shifu and decided to help King Mouse on his way. He took a step backwards and as King Mouse was just going past, Aura got his right paw behind King Mouse's head and did a very, very powerful cat foo move. For long, she shouted as King Mouse was sent flying towards the other side of the mill. King Mouse went higher and higher and even though all the other mice were looking, he couldn't stop himself from closing his eyes and making scared noises as he went spinning through the air like a mouse-shaped frisbee. Whoa! Wee! Whoa! Then a huge woof as he landed in the opposite corner of the mill. Lying on the cold floor of the mill, King Mouse slowly opened his eyes and said, Ugh! What happened? He shook his head and saw that all of the mice had stopped dancing, they'd stopped drinking, and they'd stopped kissing each other and everything else they were doing before. They now just stood looking at him with a mixture of amazement and fear.